you can actually export palm oil to countries like the uk the us and other european countries so in this video i'll be giving us the step by step guide so if you're really interested in you know making money in pounds dollars and every other you know currency that makes or have much much value than the local currency naira watch this video to the end so when it comes to starting exporting business like exporting palm oil there are some little little things you need to know before you get into this process i'm about to introduce to you one of the mandatory things you need to find out is you know how to get a standard quality palm oil you don't necessarily need to be a producer you don't necessarily need to be somebody that you know has a palm farm you don't need all that you just need to be the middleman which is the person that is going to be buying these quality palm oils and exporting them to developed countries to make your own money so that's all what this video is about if you are thinking that probably you need to go into the rigorous process of palm oil business you don't need that now moving on you need to get a license from the nigerian export promotion council this license gives you the permission to transport foodstuffs and other kind of product related to foodstuff out of the country so it's like a permission that you know shows that whatever good you're exporting out of the country is of standard and it's of good quality this basically means that by the time this council has gone through your product seen it deem fit to be exported out of the country in exchange for money you can then now sell your product you know which is palm oil to this country so this means that your palm oil meets the international standards once it gets to the destination you are trying to sell it to the country you are trying to export it to so after passing through the nigerian export promotion council this will be your next step so if you're trying to find out more details about what uh, about you know the nigerian export promotion council just basically visit their website they will give you a breakdown of everything you need to know and the step-by-step -step process so you can impute Nigerian Promotion Council into the Google search bar and it is going to direct you to their website. So moving on. Now you need to find a reputable shipping company. Locate one shipping company closer to you or one that you know at least due to some findings and information you see that they are very reputable so after you're doing this you need to register with them because it is the shipping company that will be helping you to transport your palm oil overseas now it is very good for you to have a good reputation with them despite the fact that you pay them this is to make sure that your goods this is to make sure that your goods are properly taken care of and there is no damage or any loss whilst your goods are being transported now one of the good reasons why you should have a reputable shipping company is the fact that everything that you do will be accounted and properly documented so there will be no case of missing goods there will be no case of you know uh, goods that are not arriving to your destination or to their destination with the uh, that, that are not arriving to the goods
so that's basically it so this slide is only for those that are exporting you know product that contains any form of animal fat or animal produce so in this process since palm oil is a you know plant-based you know full stuff you don't necessarily need to get a complete you know export health certificate as regards this so this slide is just to make you aware that if at any case of your palm oil production it contains you added animal fat or any kind of fat that is not plant-based you will need to get this certificate so i wouldn't want to go into much details about this but if you want to know more details you can simply drop a comment and i'm going to explain maybe in another video everything you know you need to know about P O A O. So your certificate of free sale simply means that your goods are legal products and they are therefore sold you know freely in the country of export. So this simply means that your products are not illegal. They don't contain illegal substances and in, in any way are safe for consumption it also means that this product that you are trying to sell or export to other countries are freely sold in your own country you need to obtain this certificate to prove this so the time your product arrives determines on so many factors it determines on the country you are expecting your product your palm oil to depends on your you know the distance depends on how many checks that needs to be done it depends on how many ports also the shipping company have to visit or has to visit before they get to the destination of your choice so here basically you will need to put in some things in check especially if it is your first delivery you need to look at how well your product landed and how the process was you know during the check-in and everything to make sure that you know your goods leave the ship uh, leaves the seaport safely there's one thing to keep in mind here you need to make sure that your products are kept in a very very cool packages make sure your products are not exposed to sunlight <coughs> make sure they are not exposed to heat so it is very very important for you to inform the shipping company the product you are expect you are, you are exporting and it's also very very important for you to you know package your product very very well make sure the containers you're using are not leaking make sure that they are you know waterproof container which means that you know by no way they are affected by you know the temperature of the seas so this is very very important and one last thing you need to keep in mind too is you know the feedback from your buyers you know from outside the country you need to get the feedback from them it's this that will make you know whether you are to improve more on your product or whether you are to leave it that way so if they are telling you that your product are not being accepted because maybe for example the saturated fat in your palm oil is too much you might need to work on that you know that might be by changing the palm oil company that you're getting your palm oil from if they also inform you that your packaging is not good enough you might also need to work on your packaging so since these people are the lifeline of your, of your business they, they determine whether you make profit or loss you need to get feedback from them i hope this video was well you know packaged and well detailed for you but if there's any question or any part of the video that looks confusing please drop a comment and 
I will either do a video about it or answer you in the comment section. Thank you.